the Golden State Warriors are signing the biggest free agent. So as you all know, the Warriors are still looking to make one more move this offseason, and there are a couple of great free agents still left on the market, and the Golden State Warriors could snatch them up for cheap. In today's video, we're going to be going through five of the best potential free agents the Golden State Warriors can sign that can not only help them win, but help them win another NBA championship. So make sure to like this video, and guys, 92% of you are still not subscribed to the channel, so it would mean the world if you could subscribe to the channel, hit that red button down below. The first possible free agent for the Golden State Warriors is Christian Wood. Now, as you all know, Christian Wood just finished off his season with the Dallas Mavericks, where he did a fantastic job averaging 16.6 points, 1.8 assists, and also 7.3 rebounds. Now, he has a great opportunity to actually join the Golden State Warriors, as the Warriors are looking for another big to add to the roster. Now, when it comes to Christian Wood, what I love about his game is definitely he is a scoring big, something that the Golden State Warriors definitely need. They did get Dario Saric to fill in that role of being that scoring big, but why not have more and have that in Christian Wood as well. As you all know, Jermichael Green was actually heading into the free agency as well. And if Jermichael Green isn't staying with the Warriors, then they definitely could use another power forward slash center position. And that player could be Christian Wood, no doubt about it. What I love about his game, especially when it comes to scoring, is that he doesn't only score from the inside. He's got a great three-point shot where he's averaging 37% from the three. And he can also shoot free throws very well at 78%. So Wood is a fantastic power forward slash center. And I think he would be a great fit for what the Golden State Warriors are trying to do. Now, in order for the Warriors to sign someone like Christian Wood, Christian Wood would have to take somewhat of a pay cut, but the Warriors are willing to spend as much as they can in order to give Steph Curry and the rest of the Golden State roster the best chance of winning another NBA championship. Mike Dunleavy, as you all know, is the new GM and is trying to make drastic changes and big changes in order for him to make an impact to this team straight away. And it does look like he is eyeing an NBA championship already this season, and if he would does want that to happen he definitely needs to get another great scoring big and that player could be Christian Wood. The second player is none other than Kai Soto. Now, as you all know Kai Soto did actually play in the summer league for Orlando Magic however he although he didn't play a lot of games he did have a great and promising performance. Now Kai Soto is a fantastic player standing at 7 foot 2 230 pounds Now he recently played two seasons in the NBL in Australia where he was able to average in the most recent season 19 points 12.6 rebounds and also 1.2 assist. He did a fantastic job with Adelaide during that season, and I do believe his game can translate very well into the NBA. Now, it doesn't look like the Orlando Magic are going to sign him, and this could give a great opportunity for the Golden State Warriors to pick him up for very cheap. Kai Soto hasn't made the NBA just yet, but he is looking to get a contract, and the Warriors could get him for very cheap, probably even the minimum contract. So because of that, it could be an absolute steal to get someone seven foot two who's able to score very well and and also has the presence inside the paint for very, very cheap. Kai Soto, he's still a very young player, still at the age of only 21. So he has a lot of years behind him and he does have a lot of potential. As you all know, Kai is from Philippines and the Golden State Warriors getting someone of Kai Soto's caliber would honestly be great for the fan base as well. As you all know, Golden State Warriors team and also just San Francisco in general is full of Philippine nation. And because of that, Kai Soto could bring a whole new audience to the Golden State Warriors and could even bring more. And they actually had made this comment about Orlando Magic. A rumor that was going around is that Orlando Magic only added Kai Soto to their actual Summer League roster in order just to gain a couple of followers. And they did gain quite a lot because of Philippines backing Kai Soto. So this could honestly be a win-win situation for the Warriors. They get a bigger fan base. They also have a great potential player in Soto. And I think it would make a recipe for success. The third player is none other than reuniting with Kelly Oubre Jr. Now, as you all know, Kelly Oubre has been a fantastic player, and he did play recently for the Charlotte Hornets, where he averaged 20.3 points, 5.2 rebounds, and 1.1 assists. And he also did this on 32 minutes of play. He had a three-point percentage of 32%, and had an effective field goal percentage of 50% as well. Now, he has played for the Warriors before, but I think Golden State Warriors getting back someone like Kelly Oubre Jr. at a very cheap price would honestly be the biggest steal of this offseason. Kelly Oubre is still only 27 years of age people forget that so he's still very young is coming into his peak years of having great experience and also being you know youthful in that matter he's six foot seven 203 pounds so he can play that small forward position and if needed can play that power forward if they do want to run small ball but i would think it would work out to have kelly Oubre back in the lineup now he probably wouldn't have a starting position due to the fact that kelly Oubre is going to be replaced by like andrew wiggins in that small forward position however i think having Oubre off the bench would honestly make the bench 
punch even 10 times deeper. Uber is a fantastic scorer and he has shown this playing for the Charlotte Hornets. And on top of that, he has shown when he played with the Golden State Warriors where he was able to average 15.4 points, 6 rebounds and 1.3 assists that he's able to play with the play style of players such as Steph, Clay, and also Draymond Green. So I think he would fit the recipe very well. And I think Oubre would honestly be glad to join the Golden State Warriors once again, especially with the team that is deeper this time around, especially with the additions of other players such as Dario Saric, Chris Paul, and even rookies such as Trace Jackson Davis. So Oubre would be joining a much better team than when he joined, as a lot of the stars were injured. You know, Steph Curry was injured at times, so was Clay and also Draymond. And now Oubre would be fitting into the role very well for this Golden State Warriors team. The fourth player is none other than Danny Green. Now, as you all know, Danny Green actually played for the Cleveland Cavaliers last season, where he actually averaged 6.5 points, 1.3 rebounds, and 0.5 assists. Now, you do have to remember he was only getting around nine minutes of game time per game with the Cleveland Cavaliers, but I do believe if he does join a team like the Golden State Warriors, he can definitely get a lot more minutes. Now, Danny Green is 36 years old, but however, he's still a great shooter and a great defender. He's 6'6", 215 pounds. Guys, he's a three-time NBA champ and 2016-2017 all-defensive team, so he has a great resume to back it up, and I think Danny Green is a great 3 and D player that can definitely push it even further. Now, when it comes to Danny Green, what I love about his game is due to the fact that he plays a very simple type of basketball, but he's played with some of the greatest teams out there. He was a part of that Toronto team that won the NBA championship. He played with Spurs for a lot of seasons and also played with the LA Lakers. So he has a lot of championship experience, a lot of playoff experience, and I think he can really help out the younger guys, especially when it comes to that second unit, if he decides to join a team like the Golden State Warriors. Now, when it comes to his current contract, it's only 2 million, and I do think the Warriors can definitely afford that if they are looking to get someone for that minimum price. So the Warriors could snatch him up for very cheap, which I think is something that the Golden State Warriors definitely want when it comes to signing that last free agent spot. Because of those reasons, Danny Green could be a perfect fit due to the fact that he really does fit all the roles and having that veteran experience where he can teach the younger guys, but has great championship experience where he can also help them throughout the playoffs as well. The fifth player is none other than Bismack Biombo. Now this may come to a surprise, but Bismack Biombo is actually only 30 years old, so he's still a very youngish guy and he still has a lot of years left in the NBA. Now he's in at 6'8", 255 pounds, and he did play most recently for the Phoenix Suns, where he actually averaged 4.3 points, also 4.3 rebounds, and 0.9 assists. Now, he was only averaging 13 minutes of game time, but I do think Biombo would be a fantastic addition to this team. When it comes to Biombo, what I do love the most about this is that he did play for Phoenix, and if Chris Paul's in the team, now Dario Saric, now if you add Bismack Biombo, they definitely all know how to play together, and Chris Paul will know how to play with these guys and also even make them better out there on the floor. So I think it would be a great team chemistry type of play here if they decide to get someone like Bismack Biombo. He's a great defender, still very, very athletic. And I do think, although Bismack isn't really too much of a scorer, he can still provide a lot on the defensive end that would really pay dividends per what the Golden State Warriors are trying to achieve. 